an update where things are right now in the career, what you're looking forward to next? Um, you know, I, I want to get back in there as soon as I can. Obviously, uh, what happened in North Carolina was, was tough to deal with. I mean, the only way to get over something like that is to just get back in there and get, get in a fight again. I mean, I still believe I have the potential to be the best in the world. Uh, I think every time I stumble, less and less people believe that, but it's never, like, my belief in myself has never really wavered, no matter what the outcome of life is going to be. Any desired opponents? I don't really, I mean, I've never, I've never said no to anyone. I mean, there's obviously guys I think that are uh, better matchups. Um, you know, I, I would like to just fight someone ranked. I'd like to fight somebody in the top 10 that has a big name. I mean, I, I'm really sick and tired of, of, of fighting, you know, outside of the top 15. You know, I've been begging for, for tougher fights, but, you know, I don't, I don't know that I'll get it. Uh, if not, then give me any of these scrubs that just walked into the UFC, you know what I mean, and think that they're like the, the next coming of God. Like, give me one of those guys. Is there anyone in particular speaking about that? Nah, I mean, there's a whole that I could fucking go on for, for 20 minutes about all those guys. I mean, it's like all the, the contender series guys, for example. Like, every single one of those guys gets in the UFC, and they're like, they're the next, they're the next coming of Jesus. They really are. They always believe that. And and I, I, I think probably 90% of those guys go 0 and 2, and you never see them again. Who do you think wins the next bantamweight title fight between Aljo and John? Uh, honestly, I think O'Malley presents a lot of uh, challenges for for Aljo. But I mean, I thought Peter Yan beat O'Malley pretty decisively, and I just don't think that O'Malley's gonna. I mean, and, and let's be honest, like Aljo is a better wrestler, he's a better grappler. He's gonna take him down. Um, but I definitely think that, that O'Malley, you know, has a chance to start you, but. Aljo's a tough guy to hit with a hard shot. I mean, you've seen him fight like legit contenders, and like, trust me, I was a, I was a Aljo hater for a long time, and like he's proven me wrong so many times. And at this point, I'm like, the dude's good. He's gotten a lot better. You know, I fought him. I, I know how good he is. So I think Aljo will remain the champ, and hopefully, he does the right thing and lets Murad step up and take the next shot. Just my last question. Uh, you're here at the Hall of Fame red carpet. We're obviously celebrating some like the all-time great. Is this inspiring to you as a fighter to like see this yeah. and be like, look at these legends. Like this is where I want to be one day. Yeah, exactly. And that's why I came. Uh, you know, I, I never really come to one before, but then I, I kind of realized like if this is a this is a kind of always been a goal of mine to be in the Hall of Fame. Um, and you know, like I got to see what this is like. You know what I mean? Like when I was. You know, coming up and, and fighting, like, I went to a UFC fight just to see what it was about. And as soon as I went, I'm like, I have to do this. You know what I mean? So I think being here will motivate me to, uh, you know, want to be one of those guys that that has the opportunity to, to, to be in the Hall of Fame. What, which fight was that that hooked you? Oh, God, it was, I think it was a John Jones card. It was at, it was at MGM, so that's how long ago it was. It was like long time ago. Seven, eight years ago. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. Might have been, might have been Vader. Yeah, yeah. I was just in awe of everything, like everything that was happening. I was just like, "Holy shit! I have to do this." Yeah. Obviously, we're at the we're at the Yeah. Um. So I mean, I mean, it's really hard to argue against uh, Lollard and and Rory because they. They like, killed each other. You know what I mean? Like both those guys were in the hospital for days. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like they literally ruined each other's careers in that fight, uh, without a doubt. Um, but another one that kind of stands out to me: uh, Gray Maynard and Frankie Edgar. One. You know, I think. No, I think Edgar won the fight. The third. Was it the third? The third one where he got dropped twice and got up. Like, was that the second one? They all blending together. together, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was just like, like, what it took, you know what I mean? Like, he was down and out, and to come back and, like, slowly come back in a fight like that, it's just, that was, that was amazing for me. Just to, just to know, like, from an athlete standpoint, what it would take to actually, you know, come back after getting your ass whooped like that for two rounds.